大家好 ，Hello everybody， 我是 Doctor Lo， I am Doctor Lo。现在 ，Now， 老师 would like to guide you to give you some guidance on how to answer， 呃、uh, ，the 理解 ，or we say that comprehension text， OK， for Mandarin。好的 ，May 老师 get student number one to read paragraph one。Common situation. Taja sha ane te mala gomi daswe nensho. Kama jujai daswe te pe indu shushe. Kama jujai shushe te wu lo. Ta de fang jen hao ma shi wu ling liu hao. Okay, 好的 In a while, 老师 will get you to explain. But before that, 老师 would like you to remember. You still show that you have the the sound. Slightly the sound like 大学生 you have the 大学 the the sound you need to remove them okay so make it 大学生大学 all right a few times is it 大学 and also your 住 you need to make it 住 no z z sound 住在 okay 好的 so 老师 wish to tell you 大学 is university and the with the 生 means that the Belaja University the University student. Okay, can you explain? Like, Kama Yela? Kama Yela Plaja University. Dia di Shah Alam punya UITM Belaja. Kama tinggal di University punya Perindu Asrama. Kama tinggal di Asrama punya tingkat lima. Dia punya bilik number Yela lima kosong. Nombo, very good, very good. Okay, student. So we have done with the first paragraph, and what Lao Shi, okay, advise you is after one paragraph, you should go down to look at the questions first. Okay, you. This is the advice. But if you really want to continue, that is your choice. Okay, but to Lao Shi, from the first paragraph, normally there are, there will be at least one question, and you will see that here. Lao Shi has given more question even on paragraph one. Why? Why? Because here Lao Shi has prepared not only five questions. In your written test, you have only five questions. So normally, first paragraph one or two, second paragraph one or two, and the final paragraph one or two. So total five. But now Lao Shi wants to train you more. So Lao Shi has given you, you see, until that many. You see, until twenty two. So it means that、uh, you'll find one paragraph. You'll find more questions. So first question, okay? 好，老师 will do this for you. All right. So you see, 谁是大学生 Okay, who is the university student? So what 老师 want you to remember is, you need to know. They ask you who. Okay. So go and find the who down. Okay. Don't copy the whole sentence from the top here. Although you you think they are very similar, to be safe, you still find the key answer. So here, karma karma is the university student. So bring karma only. Actually, bring down the she you remove, put in karma, and then the one that not the question word, you please copy down. Then you get full answer. Why Lao Shi remind you not to remind you not to copy down everything from top, because many times, okay, the sentence that you bring from the top, they are having additional words or less words compared to the question. So the additional word or less word, you will lose a lot of marks, okay? Because when we do the marking, there will be two, two. One is you get full answer. One is you don't get full answer. So, student, when you are not under the full answer, you lose or lost quite a few marks. So, Lao Shi do not want this to happen. Okay, er, okay, karma 在哪里念书 Karma, where where does karma study? Okay, so 哪里 is the question word. So you go and find 哪里 where is the place that he studies. Okay, you will find that. Okay, what do you say? Shah Anand Malagongi University. So again, remember, 
We are asking you 哪里 So just bring down the Sha Anan 的马拉公益大学 and include replace the blue one. And what happened the next? The comma 在 copy back 念书 copy back. Okay, don't go and add other words. All right. Okay, 好三 Kama 住在哪里 Where does Kama Kama stay? Okay, again, you see, you when you answer the comprehension text, okay, when you want to answer one question, you need to find out what is the question word. So Nali is a question word again, but we ask you about the place that he stays or he lives in. Okay, so 住在哪里 Okay, then we go up to find 住在哪里 Okay, then here we tell you. Kama 住在大学的柏林读宿舍。So again, student, bring down 大学的柏林读宿舍。Okay, bring down, and then you see 哪里 replace with that. The kama 住在 you copy back. Okay, 好的。Number four. Sometimes we don't ask you this way, but we ask you another way. Kama 住在什么宿舍？ Kama stays in which? Okay, in English we use which college, okay, or which hostel. But Mandarin we will use 什么宿舍 Okay, or Malay hostel upper, college upper. So you should know that 什么 is the question word. So 什么宿舍 What is the name for the 宿舍 Okay, so the 宿舍 is Berindu. You know from here, this is Berindu. So sure. Okay, and then here, if you just say um, Kama 住在 Perindu 宿舍 Okay, the answer is not that complete because Perindu 宿舍 it 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 is not sure which which one. Okay, so you add in the 大学的 Perindu 宿舍 All right, 大学的 Perindu 宿舍 This is the most complete answer. Okay, 好的 And then now, again, you see this number five. 老师 is still asking for paragraph one. Kama 住在宿舍的几楼？几楼 means which floor? So 几楼 from here, you know that 宿舍的五楼 So bring down the 五楼 okay? And then include here 五楼 The rest copy back from the question, not from top. Okay, and number six still it is on the paragraph one. Okay, Kama 的房间号码几号 So 房间 is the room, 号码 is the number. So what number is that? Okay, then you know that it is what is the number? 五零六号 All right. So you bring down the 五零六号 and this is a special case that actually the question right. We can skip the sh, yella. But in the answer, you need to give the sh, yella. Kama 的房间号码是五零六号 All right. Okay. So now the next, ah, you see. Okay. Sometimes in your comprehension, uh, 理解 Okay. You can try to look at the question first. After we answered the one and two, let's let's say, and they are from the paragraph one, you can continue to see. Oh, seven, they ask about 星期几 Oh, eight, they ask about 几月几号 When you have this idea, okay, when you read the paragraph two, you can quickly de detect which one is the answer. Okay, or you see, you ask, you you look at question number nine. 卡玛几点起床 What time? Kama 起床 So you should know the second paragraph. There must be something with the 起床 the daily activity. Okay, can look down further. And later they say, 早上八点卡玛做什么啊 So remember, later you check 八点卡玛做什么 Or later 下课下课 Okay, all these are keywords so that you know when you read 下课 then you should know that. You can answer one question, okay? And even the twelve, 学什么 Okay, what does he learn? Ah,、uh, what does he learn? Then you go and find. Okay, 好 
May Lao Shi get next student to read paragraph two. Jin Tian Shi Xing Ji Wu Shi Er Yue Si Hao Gama Zao Shang Liu Dian Ban Ji Zhuang Da Zao Shang Ba Dian Shang Ke Zong Wu Shi Er Dian Xia Ke Okay, students, Lao Shi wants you to improve on your reading. Okay, you need to know that Zao Shang Ba Dian is one time phrase. You should make it together. You should read Ta Pause. Zao Shang Ba Dian together. You don't pause in between. Ta Zao Shang Ba Dian. The Zao Shang and Ba Dian, you pause one time, which is no good. You try to tackle. Time phrase read together. Okay, for example, Zhong Wu Shi Er Dian, you should read together. Don't pause in between. Okay, and then where another part, the, the, the eight o'clock, uh, no, liu dian ban, zao shang liu dian ban, read together. Okay, shi er yue si hao, read together. Okay, may Lao Shi hear you to read again. All right, ready. Jin dian shi xing ji wu, shi er yue si hao, gama zao shang liu dian ban qi zhuang. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The karma zao shang liu dian ban, right? It's quite long. You can make it karma, a little pause, and then zao shang liu dian ban, make it together. Ah, lai. Karma zao shang liu dian ban, ji zhuang, da zao shang ba dian shang ke, zong wu shi er dian jia ke. Yeah, better now. But your pause for after karma and ta is a bit too long. You should just tukar, tukar your, your, just, just a very short one. Karma, zao shang liu dian ban. Karma, zao shang liu dian ban. Okay? How the, how? Now, may I should get any volunteer to explain this one because your friend has done a lot. Two rounds already. May I should get any student, volunteer, Yoma? Quite, quite. To explain. Okay, may Lao Shi get the next number just now? Lao Shi has already get one number. Who is the next uh, who, read, who will read the paragraph three? Is it two two or two one or who is that? Two. Okay, so now Lao Shi would like to have someone to translate the paragraph two. Okay. Hari ini ialah hari Jumaat. Disember 3 hari bulan. Uh, it's not 3, it's 4. 4. December 3 hari bulan. Kama pagi pukul 6.30. Bangun dari katil. Wake up. Bangun dari katil. Dia pagi pukul 8 menghadiri kelas. Tengah hari, noon, noon. Tengah hari, tengah hari pukul 12 selepas itu. <laughs> Tamat kelas. Tamat kelas. Okay, end the class, okay? Alright, so students, Shangke is, the class is on. Shangke, the class is off, end of class. Alright, so see students, dear, you have paragraph 2. So we can go back to the questions to see what do they ask. Okay, 今天是星期几? When we ask you 星期几, you please just answer the day. So you know that here it is 星期五, but we do not ask you the 十二月四号. So many students make the mistake. By right, you just need to bring down the 星期五, but you bring down everything until here. And then you don't care you just write everything. Lao Shi just asked you, 今天是星期几? You will give me, 今天是星期五,十二月四号. So students, you will fall under the category of answer that not complete. So you lose a few marks. So don't do that. We ask you, 星期几? You answer, 今天是星期五, that's it. We, if we don't ask you seven, we directly ask you, 今天是几月几号? Then, 
you don't give me the xing qi wu here. You need to direct answer to the question. 今天是十二月四号. Then you fall under the full marks category. Okay? 好的, next. 卡玛几点起床? What time Kama wake up? Then you should go up to see. Okay, what time Kama wake up? So here you know that. 早上六点半. But again, here, although this is like totally similar to the question, but to be safe, to have that habit, okay, bring down the key answer. Okay, so 早上六点半, you bring down, and then you see that the 几点 you remove and include 早上六点半. And then what? The karma, you copy back. 起床, copy back. Then you get the full answer. Okay? 好的. And the next, 早上八点, karma 做什么? If we ask you this, but we don't ask you that. Okay, so 8 o'clock just now we have read. 八点做什么? 上课. So bring down the 上课. 做什么 remove? Remember, all the question word you remove. Okay? And then, 早上八点, karma 上课. Karma 几点下课? What time? Karma end the class. So you should know that it is 中午十二点. Okay, now I'll show you the answer directly. But in the exam, of course, you need to go and find. So here, 中午十二点下课. So you see, here, they don't include the people. So you just copy down the keywords. And then, when you answer, you need to put back the karma. And the ending is a shak. All right. Okay. So the next asking about what does he learn? What day he attends Mandarin class? Who is the Mandarin lecturer? Okay. And the Liu Lao Shi give something to karma and the classmates. What is it? Shema. Okay. So here you should know that. We need to proceed to the paragraph three. Okay, like me, I should get someone to read the paragraph three. Can I should get one? Um, Lao I can both uh, read and translate. Okay, okay, how that like? Kama tsue hua yu ta ting ti sen he ting ti wu shang hua yu ke. Okay,很好. Very fluent. Okay, also with some intonation. All right. Okay, but in a, let's say next time, in a role play presentation, let's say you are using Mandarin or deliver Mandarin, not to rush. Okay, make it slowly and steady. Huh? Okay, how the line explain. Kama belajar Mandarin. Dia hari Rabu dan hari Selas dan hari Jumaat hadiri kelas Mandarin. Dia punya Mandarin uh, cikgu ialah Liu, Liu Cikgu Liu. Cikgu Liu berikan Kama dan rakan sekelas banyak tugasan. Uh, Cikgu Liu mahu Kama dan rakan sekelas um, 23 hari bulan 12 submit tugasan. Isnin, don't listen. Isnin submit tugasan. Yes. So here there are so many information. Okay. Uh, so here remember just now we learned about Kama Shui Shema. 